everyone. Can you all hear me? Yes. Yeah, all right. <laughs> it's afternoon, so everybody, I'm sure everybody's like, uh, after lunch, you feel so sleepy, right? Right. Okay, uh, so today we are going to be looking at tutorial three so usually if we are in a physical class uh uh what i normally did for this tutorial session is that i will do some kind of like uh, some sort of like a uh, group uh work and something like a flip class okay whereby you and your group will prepare some kind of a presentation uh, where you will present the answers and your findings okay uh in regards to the uh, question. But before we start our tutorial for today, uh, I would like to go through the group project. I uh, sorry, group project, group member, <laughs> group member, because uh, as you all know, next week, uh, uh, week four, we will be having our uh, lab viva. Uh, so for my group, uh, don't start. I haven't started uh, the. Uh, I will start the um, uh, recording myself. Can you please stop whoever that is recording? Can you please stop recording? Let me stop first. I'm scared that this one is not going to go into the uh, what? Okay, so for. Uh, Okay, but before that, can can we sort out the 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 team first? Okay, so this is for group uh, tutorial three. So, uh, um, ah, okay, group <laughs> group five is waiting for their leader. <laughs> Why do you think like like uh? uh no, I'm not gonna like assign you any leader because I think for the one we got a group, I hope they're all in tutorial. Three. Yes, so I'm gonna put all of you in one group. Is that okay? Amar, Ahmed, Gori, Wang, Yuki, and uh, Hussein. Can I put you all in one group? Um, Is that right? Yeah, doctor. Can. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just gonna. Uh, copy this and you will be in group six. Okay. All right. So for this group five, I'm so sorry. I guess your leader is not coming. I am going to just shift up your name. And uh, the one in. Uh... <laughs> okay, I'm just going to uh, automatically uh get to <laughs> to be the leader of the group is that okay unfortunately i don't have any leader for you <laughs> so i'm just gonna uh give uh uh, uh ask zuhu thing to be the leader for your group is that all right so i believe this uh 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 for what is tutorial three as well right okay all right so this list is finalized yeah because, okay, so uh, uh, let me uh, start this recording. All right. Uh, so uh, we can say that all these uh, names are finalized. Okay, so if any changes, I, I'm not so sure because I just received the, uh, the um, new list uh, yesterday. So, um, I can see that there's actually an additional student coming into this group uh, because I used to have only 20 something in this group. Okay, uh, uh, I had a feeling that Dr. <laughs> she is gonna come to me and ask where is their student. Um, uh, okay, so, uh, so this is final. So this is important because uh, 
uh, as you can see in the spectrum, uh, you 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 can see. Let me open the spectrum. Your lab viva question has been posted. Okay, so it's fifteen percent. Where uh, uh, where um. So uh, I don't know whether you can actually see this one. Why is my work so slow? Uh, if you download it, and then you should be able to see the question, okay? All right, so the question, uh, I don't know, I don't think you can see the question. But if you open it, you will see there are two parts. Uh, one is sorting, one is string matching. Okay, and you and your group uh, are required to implement those those question. Uh, and then uh, 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 for my group, I'm not going to do the Viva next week. So next week, uh, uh, I will leave uh, uh, you to do the implementation and, and uh, studying how to do the string matching. Um, and then uh, uh, I will uh, publish like just something like this one as well, this sheet, whereby I will give you several slots, okay, a list of slots uh, uh, throughout the week, throughout week five, where you and your team can choose which slot you want to do your, uh, your Viva, okay. So uh, the Viva will be in groups, so, uh, uh, but then um, your, uh, uh, there will be an individual part where you will have to answer question, based on the lab that you uh, are supposed to do, okay? So even though that you you break your task uh, among the group member, but make sure everybody knows everything, okay? Inside the, uh, uh, for all the labs, because the question, uh, you cannot choose the question, the question may, uh, may, may, may be asked uh, from any parts of the lab, okay? So even though you break uh, uh, the work into your uh, among your team members, but everybody needs to know about everything. OK. All right. Uh, so uh, anything else should I mention about this? Oh, yeah. Regarding the attendance for week four, please still uh, mark your attendance. I will give you the password uh, in the team. Uh, please mark your attendance for next week as well during normal uh, class hours. It's just that we're not going to have a normal class. It's going to be asynchronous. Um, uh, supposedly this week, uh, uh, sorry, supposedly for string matching, it's supposed to be e-learning, something like e-learning. You have to learn yourself. But uh, uh, I, I, I can do like uh, on Tuesday during our lecture hour, uh, we can do like a quick uh, Q&A session. Whereby if you have any anything that you don't get it, you know, like if you have any problem understanding the string matching algorithm, you can, uh, uh, you know, we can we can meet uh, on Tuesday uh, during our normal lecture hour and then we can do some discussion during that time. Uh, so uh, please let me know if you require that because I think string matching is not that difficult. It's just uh, it's a very straightforward uh, 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 um, how do you call that? Uh, algorithm, but in case if you need like uh, uh, additional help uh, from me, you can let me know and then we can meet on Tuesday and I will just go through it quickly. Okay, uh, any issues that you face when you uh, look into uh, the string matching algorithm. All right. Uh, okay, and that is for the lab Viva. Any question? That is for the level. Oh, I didn't. I haven't shared you the link to this one, right? So let me uh, try to link it. Right? Why is it not safe as such? Oh, <laughs> not this one. Any question regarding your viva? No. Okay, <clears throat> doctor. Sorry. Um, I just want to yeah. review. So, for the Viva, we will have mm -hmm. to choose our time slots according to the group, and then not according the Viva, to the group. I mean, the slot. Uh, group choose the time. I would just, yeah, the yeah. group will choose slide. Yeah, I leave it up to you to uh, choose the slide. Yeah. Sorry, the slot. <laughs> 
Yes. And then? Okay, and um, so the Bible will be done as a group work thing, right? Yeah. And it'll be according to the document you shared on Spectrum, is it? Yeah. The question is as we posted on Spectrum. Okay. All right, got it. Okay. All right, so uh, all right, so uh, so I guess that's it for for the lab viva regards to lab viva. So here are the links to the documents. So as I mentioned, supposedly uh, 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 this is supposed to be like a class activity, but since we can, you know, like I tried to to create a break uh, break room for you in to uh, in the teams. I can do it. It's just that I have to manually assign you to each of the breakout teams, which is quite uh, uh, tedious. So I don't think I have time for that. Uh, I remember Google Meet, you can actually uh, create the room and then uh, I give you the link. Even though Google Meet have uh, their own uh, breakout room, which again, for manually, you need to manually assign, which is uh, quite tedious if you have a big group that, that you want to assign to a specific uh, breakout room. So uh, I decided that we're just going to do it normally um, here in the in Google Doc, okay? So as you notice, uh, the question, the question is the same, like the one you find on the spectrum. It's just that for the, the question that I gave specifically, it has a different uh, input uh, uh, array for each of uh, for each of the uh, uh, algorithm. Okay, so uh, um, yeah, so uh, let's try and um, do this together. So for question one, eh, sorry for bubble sort, can I have someone uh, share the um uh the the output array this week my brain is a little bit muddled because um um i uh last week my boy is like having a very bad uh, allergy so i think i got it as <laughs> so my brain is probably going to be a little bit slow bubble shot so your your <laughs> favorite bubble sort. Ah, don't tell me you're going to type that. <laughs> Everybody got, got the answer. Come. Snap and post. I am supposed to have how many students in my uh, teams? I have. I have. I have 33. But in my dogs, I only have 19. Don't see viewers. Come, you're not a viewer. We are doing this together. Come, nobody have an answer for this? Yes, thank you. So bubble sort is uh, pretty straightforward. You compare, swap, if it is smaller, this one is not smaller, not smaller, not smaller. This one small, you swap, okay? And then you go for for the next pass. <coughs> compare, 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 and you swap, right? And then you compare, and then you swap, and then you compare, and you swap, right? And, and basically, this one is not a complete uh, comparison, right? So basically, you probably need to do the comparison until the end of the array right but since we know that this is only uh, uh 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 oh yeah no because you already like like make it shorter in this case so you sort this and then finally you get the sorted array okay remember uh, uh the question that i asked um uh during our lecture right how can we improve this uh, bubble sort? So in this case, we have how many pass? We have one pass, two pass, three pass, four pass. And uh, yeah, so basically, if we have five elements 
uh, maybe we need to do n minus one pass, right? So how do we like uh, try to uh, uh, make it uh, smaller or, or improve the algorithm? Trust me, your bubbles can be improved. Because right now, uh, the running time complexity of the bubble saw is n squared. So how? Do you have any idea how to improve this? Um, if it's already sorted, it shouldn't make the extra passes. Yep. So how would you, how would you uh, um, um, modify the algorithm? Uh, I think we will have to put in a conditional for uh, sorted. And if it's not sorted, we again go to the next pass. But if it's sorted, we finished already. Okay, how do you know that the array is already sorted? Uh, in the for loop, we check if uh, less than something like that. I don't know, yeah, but is it, it is just like the normal uh, passing in a normal comparison. You still need to go, you know, uh, to do what? So how would you determine whether the pass, meaning that, that it is uh, uh, already uh, sorted? OK, let me try and see. You put a Boolean flag. Yeah, yes. In a loop. Yes. One of the ways you put the Boolean Boolean flag. Boolean flag to check for what, Daniel? If it's swap. So if it's swap, then you flag it as true. If it's, then you break it. I mean, if it's if it's not true, then you break it. Yep. Yes. So one of the way is you create a Boolean flag. So in fact, let's say while you were you were doing the loop, going through the loop. So for that pass, if there is no more swapping occurring, you can always break the loop, right? Meaning that if there's no more swapping, meaning your array is sorted, right? So that is one of the way you can improve the bubble sort, okay? So uh, I have law, uh, when someone uh, uh, sending me one uh, uh, here. So basically for J in range line num, minus I minus one. Okay, so this one is like you make the, the comparison shorter, right? So in a sense, instead of it compare, compare until end of the array, you just, you will minus whatever that has been sorted. Is that right, no? Law or law, <laughs> right? So yeah, one of the way you can do that as well. Yeah, and in fact, this one uh, we consider that it is actually implementing what what you are implying there. Okay, because supposedly if we look at the what we are still uh, 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 comparing until end of the uh, array. Okay, all right. Okay, that's good. So do you see that even a normal uh, simple Algorithms such as bubble sort, you can still improve it, you know, the running time complexity by trying to think how you can uh, uh, take advantage of, like, especially like for bubble sort, uh, it is a little bit adaptive because you know there will be some, there will be one part uh, that is sorted, which is uh, uh, what you, you are, you're doing right here. You are taking advantage of the sorted part and you are not doing comparison for, uh, for that part of the array. And then another one is that you can include an additional uh, condition like a flag to, to say that if there's no more swapping, meaning that the array has been sorted, okay? So even though that the, the generic running time complexity, it was still going, uh, if, if the worst case, it will still run into order of n squared, but for average condition, meaning uh, assuming that we have a, 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 a uh, a normal distribution of uh, uh, data inside your uh, input array, then perhaps at, at some cases, you probably gonna get the the the, uh, uh, the program to run uh, faster because the comparison will be shorter. Maybe at some pass, you will see that the array has been sorted. And in fact, if you are lucky enough uh, to get like a nearly sorted order, so this will give you like a better running time complexity in general. Okay, when where, whereby you tweak the, the bubble sort to actually run faster and not achieve the n to the power or n squared uh, running time complexity. Is that all right? Do you understand? 
So this is the reason why we learn algorithm because we want to see how you know now since we know we know how uh, to you know like uh, analyze the running time complexity. Now since uh, now we can actually try to think you know looking at the 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 input uh, and then and then and then looking at the algorithm how we can actually improve the running time complexity. All right. Okay. So let's look at the classification for bubble sort. So is it in place for bubble sort? Remember what does it mean by in place class? What is an in place algorithm? Uh, in place means requiring uh, additional space. Or maybe in like creating place? a. Oh no no! Uh, means like uh, the 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 original. If there is a duplicate value. Uh, it it needs it the, the the order is maintained. Oh no, that the one is stable. Mm. That one is uh that one is stable. <laughs> so in place and uh not in place. It means we don't need you... like temporary storage in place. Which one? Which one is the required storage? In flash does not require uh, temporary storage. OK, and uh, not in place will require some uh, uh, additional storage for uh, for doing the sorting. OK. Doesn't store and only change for in place. This is. Only arrange for I, I don't understand how please doesn't store and only change for in place range. Store and only change for in place. No, in place you do not need any auxiliary storage. They do it with inside the, the original array. The sorting happens inside the original array. They don't need uh, any additional uh, array to store the data. OK, so for bubble sort, it is in place, right? The, the algo does the arranging without additional storing. Ah, uh, yeah. That one is for an, uh, an in place, right? the same places before and after the sorting. Maybe you should say that it happens within the same array. You cannot say places because places you might uh, 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 confuse it with uh, the index itself because when you do the sorting, of course, some of the element will change places. It's just that it will occur in the same array. OK, all right. So for bubble saw, it is in place. Nobody give me the answer. I'm giving you the answer. I, I didn't see anybody typing the answer there. How about stable, adaptive and online for bubble sort? Anyone? Nobody? Give answer? Come. I think it's stable. For bubble sort? Yes. Because it, it preserves the, the sequence, right? The sequence yes. of uh, 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 element. And then another thing, if you remember, I did mention, if you want to know whether it is stable or not, one of the things that you can see is that when they do the swapping, if there's any swapping occurring inside the algorithm, uh, if, like, let's say, the swapping is occurring not with adjacent uh, uh, element, meaning it's not like side by side uh, comparison and it swap. Uh, meaning it swaps like maybe like from uh, index one with index five, it swaps. So normally those kind of swapping uh, will uh, 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 will will give you the result of not stable. Of a, it will give you uh, 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 the classification of a not stable sorting. OK, so if you, you if you see that if there's a swapping occurring and the swapping is not adjacent, normally it is not a stable algorithm, sorting algorithm. OK, so for a stable one, it needs to swap with adjacent, the, right, uh, the side by side uh, uh, element. So if it is only swapping like that, then you can say that it is a stable. It normally it is actually a stable 
uh, 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 sorting algorithm. Is it adaptive? Yes, because there is some part that that has been uh, sorted that we can actually, uh, you know, uh, uh, take. And is it online? What does it mean by online? Uh, it can add uh, more data when doing the sorting. Okay, so for bubble sort, is it online or offline? So your friend here uh, said it is offline. Is it offline? It is offline, okay. Uh, for those of you, you know, like just spam the chat with your answer. Okay, so it doesn't, uh, you know, like, like, uh, just, just, just be part of this, you know, like, I know your friend have provided the answer, but uh, let's get the chat uh, busy as well with your answer. So that at least, you know, like, even though you feel like your answer is almost similar, but, but maybe uh, I can help you, you know, like, uh, make, make the answer a little bit better like let's say for example just now your friend mentioned about places right so maybe places is not quite accurate if you say that it happens in the same place so you need to say that it is happening within the same array or what so you need to be specific where where does it occurring okay all right uh okay so that is for the bubble sort right uh so bubble sort is uh, pretty clear Okay, uh, 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 how is it being done? And basically, we also see how we can improve the bubble sort. All right, so let's look next at radix sort. Okay, radix sort. Next one is radix sort. Radix, hey, counting sort. Who can give me the answer for counting sort? Okay, so I have a question here. Why the uh, bubble sort is adaptive? Okay, so uh, do you, what, what is the meaning of adaptive? Do you remember? What does it mean by adaptive? What, what does it mean by adaptive? Adaptive is when you can take advantage of the sorted uh, part of the array, right? So for bubble sort, when when you bubble up all the uh, uh, bubble up or bubble down the elements, you will get one part of the uh, of the array that is already sorted. Hello. Right? So uh, so in that case, that uh, that's why it is actually adaptive. Because you can take advantage of the pre-sorted. Like when we discuss about how we can improve the bubble sort just now. So one of your friends uh, uh, suggested that, you know, the comparison is not until towards the end because you know that there will be one part of the array that, that should be already sorted. So that's why I think more just now, he minus one. Whenever he needs to compare, he will minus one element to compare. And, and then I think uh, uh, another of your friend put a flag so that, to take advantage of the sorted array. So you can check whether whether the array has already been sorted or not. All right, so that's why it is adaptive, all right? All right, so counting sort. Nobody gave me the answer for counting sort. I really like counting sort. It's quite nice. When I, when I, when I uh, first encountered counting sort, uh, 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 I was quite, quite, uh, amazed actually because you can actually do the sorting without any comparing uh, and without any like comparing uh, uh, um, uh, uh, <laughs> without comparing uh, any values. Yeah, yeah, counting sort is fun. You should you should like like go into the uh, quick sort. Quick sort is another sort that 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 is really nice. It has a very uh, unique property that when you do the analysis, you will see that it is quite uh, interesting. Counting sort, come on. Nobody give me counting sort. Have you done the tutorial? My God. Uh, is it since I said that it is supposed to be a group, uh, a group work, you are uh, hoping that your group member does it? Ah, I forgot to also mention, 
Okay, so for any like normally for uh, 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 for uh, you will be you will have a peer evaluation. Okay, so when you have a group work, uh, especially for your group project later, uh, there will be peer evaluation. Okay, so please, <laughs> so please, uh, 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 make sure you carry your weight uh, uh, in your group. Okay, counting sort. Okay. All right, so counting sort, first we find out what is the range. Is this the same person? The same person giving the answer. Only one people to do the, the tutorial, is it? In this tutorial group? <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, nine, five, three, seven. Okay, so what is the range? It is from five until... 15 right <clears throat> and then uh the second step uh, the first step is that we count the number so we create the array from 1 until 15 and then uh we count it okay so 9 is 1 uh 5 is uh 1 3 is 1 and so on and so forth so after you count one by one and then after that you will do the running sum right so the running sum, I try to, uh, maybe can I make this one bigger? Yeah, I can make this bigger. Okay, so uh, the second step, after you count the number inside the array, we do the running sum. Okay, so we add like 0, 0, 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 plus 0 is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6, 6, plus 1 is 7, 7 plus 1 is 8, 8 plus 0 is 8, 8 plus 1 is 9, 9 plus 0 is 9, 9 plus 1 is 10. Okay, after we do the running sum, we are going to assign back the value. So uh, we look at array 9, we look at index 9, and it is in location 6. So 6, we put our first 9, and then we minus 1, it becomes 5. Okay, and then the next one is, I believe this is 5, so we look at in 5, the location is 2, and we put our 5 into index 2, and so on and so forth, and then we minus 1, and then it becomes 0, and we go through the whole array, and then finally we get the sorted array. Okay? All right. Uh, so uh, anybody is still having problem doing counting sort? Yes? No? Right, so it's pretty straightforward. You don't even do any comparison. You know, this is a com uh, non comparison sorting algorithm. Actually, counting sort, radix sort, bucket sort is not a comparison base. Uh, maybe the subroutine, uh, if like, let's say for the bucket sort, you use the insertion sort, it's using comparison. But other than that, it is not using any uh, uh, comparison to do uh, the sorting. Okay. All right, so the classification for counting sort, it, it is not in place because you have to create an additional array to do the counting and the running sum. Yep. It is stable, non-adaptive. Yeah, it's non-adaptive and it is offline right so this is for counting sort all right so is there anything that 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 you want to add for counting sort how do you think that you can improve this counting sort uh doctor why why hmm. this counting sort is uh stable is it preserve the yeah, the sequence. Oh. the sequence is preserved because especially, you know, why is it preserved? Because when you bring back, uh, uh, um, because when you bring back the, uh, the, um, uh, uh, how do you call that? The, uh, um, the number, the number, it is preserved. 
okay because it is a uh, 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 um, uh how do you call that the sequence is being preserved lah uh, uh because when after, uh, whatever the uh, uh, the 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 origin wait but then if we mm, when we put back uh the first five is going into two right and the second five is going into one because you minus one did you notice that why is it saying that it is stable Is it stable? Or did I miss something? Did Because I miss like, something? like you said before, uh, the tips to 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 detect if it's stable is if it check side by side. Ah, oh, you mean the comparison? But this one, this one, there's no comparison. Ah. Yeah, oh, but okay. then, but yeah, one of the way, one of the way for you to detect that if it is stable or not, if like let's say, uh, uh, it compares not with adjacent, uh, what you can easily say that it is not a stable, uh, algorithm. So it's not, it's not necessarily mean that the counting sort if it there's no comparison that it is not stable. Okay, for counting sort, it is a stable, uh, uh, uh. uh algorithm okay but then i did notice something that actually the the position changes or did i miss anything did i miss something let me try and look back because suddenly i noticed something uh but it is a stable uh, uh algorithm okay so is it that we have to do it from the back six i think you have to do the the slot in uh of the array starting from the back can i can can we look back at the algorithm for counting sort ah the algorithm said that you, you want when when you put back in you, you do it from the back If you do it from the front, then it, it, they will change. Look, uh, they will change the pace. You have to do it from the back. Ah, even the the diagram is not uh, is is doesn't correspond to the to the to the algorithm. So this is a uh, I need to change the the. Actually, it's, it's not not done by me. So yeah. If you look at the algorithm, okay, uh, can you look back at the algorithm for, uh, uh, let me, maybe I'll share my iPad for a while, just to show you what I mean. Okay, oops. Um, share screen. Is it sharing? Okay. So if you remember this one, when we do the rearranging, if you look at the, um, if you look at the uh, algorithm, it is actually from the back. You are assigning back from five, four, three, two, one. Then therefore, it is actually preserving the 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 sequence. So this one, we I need we need to, I need to change it because according to algorithm, it is actually from the back. From J A length down to one, so it's starting from the back. Okay, and then it's comparing, and then this one minus one, and then it goes to number four. Okay, it's going backward because it's if it you start from the front, and then the sequence will change. Okay, so please take note of that. Yeah, okay, better put a note here. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, Uh, we arrange from the back. Okay, all right. So do you the do, do you get what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. 
I stop share. Okay. Yeah. Then, then it is actually uh uh, uh it is actually uh still okay because but make sure that when you rearrange back it, it uh uh you do it from the back. And now I, how am I going to show my? <laughs> oh, okay. Any question so far? Is that all right? Yes, doctor. Okay. So yeah, somebody already posted the pseudo as well. So yeah, from line 10 to 12, if you can see. Okay, line 10 to 12. All right. Um, okay. So that is for counting sort. All right, so is there any way that uh, uh, you can actually improve this counting sort? Maybe in terms of uh, space, is there any way we can save? Because I noticed that uh, we have a lot of zero before the five, right? So we've got one, two, three, four is zero. And then the range for the input array is actually from 5 until 15. Can we actually omit uh, the 1 until 4 plus? Can we omit it? Yes, Doctor. It's possible, I think. It's possible, right? Yes. So, but then there will be uh things that you have to take uh take care if you omit that do you know what okay so uh think about the implementation when, when we try to implement an array we always start our index at index zero right so we when we when we like try to omit uh, 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 the, the index one until four, when you actually implement it, okay, you have to make sure that um, uh, when you count, you have to make sure there is a you, you need to add like in this case if your array starts with zero, and if you want to have five, uh, if you have want to represent five in an index zero. So when you uh, when you count it, you have to plus five. So zero plus five, uh, one plus five, two plus five. So okay. So in order to correspond to the uh, element that you want to count, okay. But in this case, yes, we can actually save some uh, space by by uh, by, uh, by omitting uh, um um um. Uh, the index before um, uh, before five, right? Okay, so yeah, all right. Okay, so it is an offline uh, algorithm because you need to have all the the element uh, ready before you can do the sorting. All right. Okay, so the next one we need to do the ready sort. Right, so are you okay with the counting song, everyone? Yeah. Okay, so ready, sort. All right, so this is a different people <laughs> having the answer. Okay, so ready, sort. So do you remember how we do the ready, sort? Again, this is not a comparison based uh, sorting. Okay, so it is not a comparison based sorting. Uh, and how you do it is that. Uh, uh, you uh, look at the digit itself and then uh, you sort based on the uh, position of the digit, okay? So in this case, the number of digit uh, that we have is three, right? The largest, uh, the, the biggest, uh, uh, what is in the, uh, is three. So uh, how we do the radix sort? So basically, the for loop will depend on how many digits we have uh, in the uh, array. Okay, so the biggest digit is three. So there will be three uh, uh, paths or three loops that we have to go through. So for the first loop, we look at the most least significant digit, 
and then we uh, sort it. Okay, so in this sense, for radix sort specifically, we need to make sure that we preserve the position. So the the sub routine that used for sorting inside radix sort, you need to find. Uh, you have, you need to use a stable uh, 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 sorting algorithm. Okay, for your sub routine. And then, uh, so here, uh, least significant digit. So uh, from the original, the least one is nine five two two three seven six one three nine. And once you sort, you will get uh, the second. Uh, this uh, uh, when you sort the least uh, significant array, you will get this one. And then after that, you are going to sort the the second digit. Okay, from the left. And then you will get this um, uh, array. And finally, you sort the uh, most uh, 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 the, the, the first digit. OK, and then you will get this array, which is finally it is the sorted array. OK. So anybody uh, who do not get how you do this? So let me check. Anybody got a different answer? So one, two, 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 three, five, six, seven, nine, nine. Okay. And then we look at the second one. So seven, one, Two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, nine, two. Where is seven, nine, two here? Oh, seven, nine, two. And zero, nine, five. Okay. All right. So I'm checking whether whether you are keeping uh, the sequence, uh, uh, keeping with the sequence. Okay. So this is radix sort. What is the running time? What is the running time complexity of a radix sort? Running time complexity of radix sort plus running time complexity of radix sort. Quick, quick, quick. Ready two forty nine. Running time complexity. Running time is order of t times n plus k. That is, if we use our subroutine as counting sort, right? What if I use bubble sort for my subroutine? What if I use bubble sort? What do you think my running time complexity would be? Don't you realize that it's just an additional question. It would be the order of. If you say. Power sort. And power of two, right? And square, because the the uh, it would be depending on the uh, uh, sorting algorithm that you use as the sub routine in the radix sort. Okay, in place, radix is it in place? Is radix in place? Plus how would you how would you uh, uh, do the sorting? Are you sure that they are not yeah, it's not in place, right? Because you somehow have to transfer it into another array, right? during the sorting. Because you need to reach uh, you need to have 
you you you're not doing any swapping. Somehow you need to transfer it into a different array for this, right? It's not in place. How about stable? Is it stable? Ready? Sort is stable, right? Since we preserve we preserve the sequence and it need to preserve the sequence for for the subroutine as well. Adaptive, non-adaptive, non-adaptive, really? Why do you say it's not not adaptive? <laughs> I'm not saying that it's wrong, but. Yeah, uh, 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 if I say that it is adaptive, am I wrong? Remember, for the this uh, this um, radix sort, uh, you are depending on the uh, uh, sorted sequence before you go to the next digit. Would you say that it is taking advantage of the sorted uh, array in some way? If it is not sorted, then uh, I don't think this this radix sort might work. Plus, so is it adaptive or not adaptive? Yes or no? What do you think? When you talk about uh, uh, the definition of, of adaptive, it's like any uh, algorithm that take advantage of the previously sorted or the information that you have was some 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 sorted form before before you go to the next step. So for the radix, so it is kind of adaptive, right? Because somehow you are you are depending on the the, the sorted some some sorted um, mm, a sorted information before you go to the next step. Hmm? Online, <laughs> so adaptive or not adaptive for radix. <laughs> If it is not adaptive, um, actually, I have a mixed answer. Actually, uh, for uh, Google says it's not adaptive. Yeah, <laughs> Google says it's not adaptive. That's the thing. So if you look at the uh, uh, again, this one is like uh, 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 <laughs> who is angry? Why? Why everybody? So angry. No, it is open to uh, uh, discussion because this thing, yes, trust me, if you read around, you know, like in regards to uh, what does the, uh, what do, uh, is their take on some of the algorithm? Okay, you know what? Uh, how the algorithm that we see, uh, usually it depends on, uh, it, it looks at uh, uh, the, you know, like uh, what algorithm that we're actually looking at. OK, so some algorithm, you can actually change it from adapt uh, from, let's say, for example, from uh, online to offline, you know, on, uh, offline to online with some tweaking. Uh, same goes for adaptive. Uh, uh, some algorithm, you can change it to non -ad to adaptive if it is not not adaptive uh, and vice versa. So it depends on how you tweak the algorithm. But in general, uh, uh yeah so <laughs> google says it's not adaptive can you give me the 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 link uh what are the resources because i have the same discussion before and um uh i also forgot where where i put uh, the resources and perhaps i will give you uh my my uh, uh my resource uh saying why i say that it is actually adaptive because of the because of the the fact that it depend on uh, the the uh, uh, on the how do you call that the sequence to be ordered okay to be somehow an ordered 
sequence before we go to the next step. That's why we got, uh, uh, for my case, I call it adaptive. But yeah, Google say it's not adaptive. I want to see the, the resource, the source, and what are the, uh, are the um, uh, argument that say that, that it is not adaptive. Okay. All right, so for online, I leave that one as an open uh, uh, question for now. Okay, so how about uh, uh, online or offline? Share me the link. Google say not adaptive. I don't believe any, I don't believe like, like, uh, 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 how do you call that? Like, uh, when Google says this, don't straight away believe it. Because even Google also got, got the, the, their information from somebody. So you need to check uh, your facts. Your facts, find, uh, look at the resource, uh, read about the argument. In any issues, you know, like just don't believe Google 100%. Google is just going to just, just give you whatever that they can search. They're not thinking. We are human. We need to, uh, how do you call that? Use our brain to uh, at least, uh, uh, you know, try to uh, uh, reason about it. Okay. Don't say Google says not adaptive and you believe that. You believe Google. Okay. All right. So is it online or offline? Where did sort? Online or not? Offline. It is offline. Fine. Okay. All right. That is for Reddit sort. So the next one is bucket sort. Can I just use this answer? Whoever is the owner of the answer since I have this and we already like, uh, uh, can I use this answer? Yeah. Okay, so bucket sort. So here your friend uses, uh, created five buckets. Uh, range 50 to 59, 60 to 69, 70, 79, and so on and so forth. And then um, uh, basically, uh, and then after that, the second step, uh, 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 extract the information from the input array and then put it into the bucket. Use insertion sort in the bucket and then extract it out in sequence. That is very important. Uh, uh, into the output array. Okay. Anybody got a different answer? Because the bucket, you can create any bucket. But there's a reason. There's there's a way how you can uh, you create the most effective bucket for your bucket sort. Anybody got a different answer? Bucket sort. Nobody? Everybody got the same answer? I got the same answer, but I, I started my buckets from zero. Okay. So if you start your bucket from zero, meaning that your array, you will have array of size 10, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So do, do uh, you know, uh, uh, the reason why uh, bucket sort can uh, actually uh, uh, the running time complexity is towards linear is because uh, of the this load. You know, even though you do insertion sort as the subroutine, let's say for example, insertion sort inside the subroutine for bucket sort, but then the running time complexity is only up until order of n. It's because of the load of uh, the load factor alpha the load factor alpha is uh, uh, is uh, uh, will determine the, that the running time is moving towards linear because since uh, you are doing it from uh, you, the size of the array is bigger so there are more uh, uh, empty buckets that you know that like almost half of your your array is an empty bucket so one i would say that that shows that your element is not uniformly distributed do you remember what does it mean by uniformly distributed elements for your buckets class 
Remember, in order for you to have an effective bucket, uh, bucket sort, you need to make sure that you have a uniformly distributed element for your bucket. What do you mean? Uh, but what does it mean by that? Um, it's uniform from like the interval zero and one. Mm, not really. No, it's a distribution. Distribution of the elements inside the bucket. So like in your case, you put like you have 10 buckets and five of them are five of them are empty. It's not evenly distributed. The elements you have a lot of empty buckets like uh, whereas for this case, uh, there's only five buckets and all the five buckets have some elements inside there and the number of elements is almost balanced like four to one. So it's nothing that, that is more than the, the size of the array itself. OK, because that is very important because you want to make sure that the load factor is uh, small. OK, so the load factor, I, I, I remember it was like uh, the number of element divided by the size of the array or something like that. So we're going to look at that when we do hash later on uh, when we need to uh, determine the size of the hash table. But then for bucket, in order for us to make sure, so so we need to understand the distribution of our data so that we can create a uniformly distributed bucket. OK, so here yours is not wrong. It's just that the running time won't be as efficient as uh, this bucket. OK, uh, because of uh, the uh, ununiform the, the distribution of the element is not uniform. OK. <clears throat> All right, is there any other uh, uh, bucket size? Anybody else have got a different bucket size or the way you, you divide the bucket? No, hey, Doctor, so if I had and um, so according to this um, original the original values in this array. So it starts mm -hmm. from the bucket 50 to 59. If I had a if I had a value from like uh, 30, like let's say 32. Do I have to make a bucket from 30 to 39 and then like 40 to 49, even though I don't have any values from 40? Yeah, yes. Right. So that that, that yeah. one is not uniformly distributed, right? Because it has a value. Uh, it it is still uniformly distributed because most of your bucket have values in it. Only one that is without the the value. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that is how you create the bucket. Okay. So if we have time later, we will discuss further on uh, what other condition that will make bucket sort not a good uh, things and uh, not a good sorting algorithm to 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 use. OK, so for the classification of bucket sort. Bucket sort in place. In place, class. Bucket sort. <coughs> Not bucket in sort. place. Not in place. Why? Why is it not in place? Uh, because it creates another variable to sort. <laughs> don't call variable. It's the bucket. I mean, you need you're you're you are you are you are putting another you're creating another array. <laughs> don't say variable. Maybe you can say like uh, uh, you create like uh, yeah. You still need to say that as some kind of a list or storage or pointer to some list. You cannot say it's a variable, OK? And that is why uh, it is not in place, right? Because of the bucket. How about stable or not stable? Is it stable? Bucket sort? It is? Stable or not? Stable. Why? What if I use... Uh, what is the not stable... Uh, uh, if like, let's say I use, oh no, you you need to to use a stable uh, uh, 
uh, sorting algorithm for this one as well. I should not. I think it's not a, like a, a very uh, hard uh, condition that you need to use a stable uh, subroutine, okay, sub, sub, subroutine for the sorting algorithm. But as I mentioned, normally if you, you want to use another routine for, for doing sorting inside the sorting uh, as, as a subroutine, you always find a stable one. So yeah, so bucket sort is always stable. Adaptive, bucket sort. No. How about online, offline? Class. Online or offline? Bucket sort. Offline. No answer. Offline. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Why maybe? Cannot be online. You think if like I add, uh, try to imagine if we have an array, we already like starting the bucket sort. If we add new data, if new data came in, if you need, if new data comes in into our input array, do we do we need to restart our our uh, algorithm for it to work? I mean, if, if the number is out of the range, that means you have to make more buckets, right? Yeah, unless, unless, unless uh, 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 the, the range is one, one of the condition. If like, let's say suddenly the new uh, uh, value came in and then it is out of range, right? So that is another thing that, that we need to consider. So is it on or offline? So I think offline. it based on the condition of the new input. The condition, okay, so if like the condition is within the range, do you think that the bucket sort can be, can be, uh, uh, you know, you can still get uh, 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 the thing uh, working? Yes, yes. As long as then the bucket has not been sorted. Yeah. Yes. Yes. If 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 like as long as the number in the bucket has not been sorted, but do you remember that insertion sort is also an online sorting algorithm? So is it online or offline? Even if you do the sorting inside the bucket, inside the bucket is using an online sorting algorithm, which is an insertion, uh, which is an insertion sort. <laughs> now, is it online or offline? But then if you, uh, but then uh, if you extract, it, it can be partly online like in a sense, meaning uh, 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 because because I think it's not just like, because even though when you're sorting inside, when you are sorting uh, the face where you sort the number inside uh, the bucket, it is still online because sorting algorithm is an online algorithm. My answer is partly <laughs> because it is almost towards the end that it is offline because you need to make sure that you have the uh, the whole thing uh, a complete set before it can actually go it, before it can actually be printed out. But I would say up towards until the last step, it, it is actually online because you know, like as the new uh, value coming in, you can still sort it with, uh, inside the bucket. And within the bucket, you're using an insertion sort, which is an online algorithm that you can still keep sorting uh, uh, the array. And it's just that the last point where you want to extract the sorted element that you need it to be sorted. Yeah, it can be off. It, in general, 
Yeah, you you would say that it is actually a, 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 a an offline um, algorithm. I would say that this is actually partly only towards the last step where you want to extract it. You need it to be uh, 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 offline. Okay. okay. Any question about bucket sort? We have how many, uh, what, or oh, the last one, which is shell sort. Okay, any question about bucket sort? No? So if we want to explain it, we have to say that, you know, at the start, it's an offline algorithm, but then towards the end, it'll be online. Is it? it is the other way around. The start, uh, at the beginning, it is an online. It is towards the end. It's actually when you want to start to actually give the result, it has to be offline. But aren't all... It is not an offline. Sorry? Yeah, then, then it's all, all of them are offline, right? So there's a lot of... Uh, uh, I did read a lot of arguments uh, between online and offline. Actually, when you talk about uh, online and offline algorithm, it depends on... Uh, how much uh, correct output that you can produce while still receiving uh, a new input. Mm. Mm. So, so there's always like, like a, you know, when you, when you read about algorithm, a lot of people take it a different way. So uh, Provided what you justify, you know, like that's why I always ask you, why do you ask, why do you say it's adaptive? Why do you say it's not adaptive? Because again, it will depend on, uh, 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 you know, the algorithm that you use. It will depend on, uh, uh, how do you call that, um, the uh, situation, you know, like, like if you need it to be uh, an online, it can be online. Uh, for for the for for like let's say for example for the bucket sort let's say for example, you can have it as an online uh, to a certain point, but then if you want to have a complete one, of course you need to have uh, the whole data in order for you to get the 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 uh, 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 the complete uh, sorted uh, element in a sense. So it depends on the, the the context of where it is being applied. So for the algorithm. Uh, as I mentioned, the it depends on how you justify the uh, uh, the uh, the um, not justify lah. It depends on the algorithm that that you are referring to. In this sense, so like as like like as I mentioned, um, uh, for the bubble sort just now. So uh, if we we do not take advantage of the uh, uh, adaptive, then the algorithm is not really adaptive because we are not taking consideration of the already sorted part and and, and do our uh, our uh, uh, sorting uh, sorting steps so yeah so it depends on the justification so normally like that's why i said when 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 i say why you say it's offline why do you say it's online i want you to know why do you say it is offline you know to be able to uh, 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 pinpoint the part where why do you say that it is offline or online adaptive or not adaptive in place or not uh, uh, not in place and so on and so forth okay is that all right oh, okay Okay, so that is for uh, bucket sort. Shell sort? Shell sort? Shell sort, okay. Uh, let me try and see. Um, okay, so we have 10 gap, 10 over 2 is 5. Ah, you you missed out the uh, ten over two is five. Okay, so one two three four five. One two three four five. So one one. Okay, so five over two floor. So two one two one two one two, and two over two is one. And you do the final insertion sort. Okay, 
So for the shell sort, is it in place? Okay, so do you, uh, before that, do you get the same answer? 4, 10, 18, 24, 46, 68, 23. Get the same, not the same answer. Everybody will get a sorted list in the end. But the process of it, do you get the gap? Uh, it, 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. So this is actually four, floor of 10 over 2, floor of 5 over 2, and floor of 2 over 2. Anybody got a different answer? <clears throat> okay, so it is in place. Everything is being done within the same array, within the same uh, uh, array of the input, uh, originally input, uh, uh, original input array. Unstable, not, not stable, may change relative to the order of the elements. Why uh, may change relative to the order of the elements? Yes. How 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 does it become unstable in this algorithm? Remember, this is a comparison base. Remember what I said just now? How you, can you identify the not stable? Uh, one of the ways that you can identify a not stable sorting algorithm. Not comparing adjacent. Right? Since this one, we sometimes you compare with the based on the gaps, right? So you sort of like uh, skip several elements and then you swap it. There's a possibility that you swap uh, a non-adjacent element. So it's definitely going to mess up the sequence. If, the, if there's a sequence, you're definitely going to mess up the sequence. So therefore, it is not stable. Adaptive? Shall we sort? Is it adaptive? Yes. It is adaptive. Remember, the shell sort is actually some sort of an insertion sort, um, uh, uh, a, a variant of an insertion sort. It's just that since uh, uh, the swapping occurs not adjacent, so it becomes uh, unstable. Uh, but somehow, uh, for a uh, shell sort, uh, it is still making sure that um, it will have some kind of sequence, uh, uh, some kind of some kind of order being considered here. So it is. Is it active or not adaptive for shell sort? Plus, it's not going to say it is adaptive. Is it adaptive? Adaptive or not adaptive? Oh my god. It's adaptive. Why do you say it's ad adaptive? Because if the original input is already sorted, it helps with the sorting, right? Because like when you when you do the the gap. Mm -hmm. So let's say if your if the if, okay, let's look at the 502 gap. So the gap. Mm -hmm. of, so let's say if your, your thing is already sorted like towards mm -hmm. the left, mm -hmm. then you don't have to switch it anymore. Mm. Yep. Yeah, yep, that's right. So therefore, it is adaptive, right? So in a sense, it, if like, let's say it is being, you have element that has been sorted, uh, 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 you will take advantage of it. So, so there will be no swapping occurring. And then basically, if, uh, as you go down to the, as you go down to a different uh, level, somehow it will, uh, 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 the, the uh, sorted order will somehow affect how the next uh, 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 level will, uh, um, uh, the, the sorting will be done, all right, in the next level. Okay. Adaptive. Online or not? Shell. Shell sort. Online offline. Plus. Online offline. Plus. 
Online, offline? Is it offline? <laughs> you why, do you, why do you say it's offline? Because when you start doing the gaps, you need all the numbers there, right? Because you floor the value of the input. One of the reasons, yeah, because that the, because the number of input will determine how do you create the gaps uh, for for the sorting, yeah, right. I think that would be uh, the reason, uh, one of the main reason, I guess, for saying that it is actually offline, right? Because you need to know what is the total number of elements before you can actually do the gaps. Okay, the gaps is actually the I will determine how is the uh, uh, sorting will occur. Okay. All right. So uh, that's it uh, for. Uh, uh, so I guess we've seen uh, for all of the algorithm. Okay. Uh, up until now, the only thing that we don't really discuss. Okay. We we so far we have discussed. Okay. Uh, all this algorithm in terms of. Uh, uh, the running time complexity, how is it being applied? Um, and then what are the, uh, you know, what are the things that you can improve? The classification of each of these algorithm, all right? And uh, the thing that we do not discuss uh, yet uh, in regards to, to all these algorithm is that we have yet look like in terms of um, uh, how does the, uh, uh, Input, uh, input, uh, uh, array looks like okay. Whether, when the distribution of the input array, uh, as well as the, uh, I don't remember the other one, but I think the only thing that that we don't really discuss. Oh yeah, and then the other one is what are the, uh, 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 uh the the form of um value or the form of data that, that you cannot use for 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 the the algorithm okay so if like let's say um for counting sort maybe like if like let's say you have a uh, character or you have string it's very difficult not difficult but it's not appropriate for you to use counting sort i'm not so sure if, if it is even possible because you need to know what is the range uh, of it, and then you need to create, and I believe that you're going to create like such a big uh, uh, array for for like characters and strings, right? So those are the things that we did not really discuss uh, yet, but since we have some time, maybe we can go uh, through quickly for each of these algorithm. So for the bubble sort, uh, um, uh, what is it good for, and what is it not good for? Can can you like try to think of uh, something? Because even though bubble sort will run order of n squared, worst case, uh, uh, it's worst uh, uh, case running time complexity is order of n squared. But this bubble sort, it's good, still good for something. Well, uh, can you uh, can can you try to think of what are the best uh, condition where bubble sort will run nicely for you? In terms of the input uh, array. If it's mostly sorted already. Yeah. If you if you like, let's like say, for example, you have an input array that is mostly sorted, you know, like if like uh, if like, let's say for your, your condition inside the, your system, you know that your input array will always be mostly sorted. And actually, bubble sort is more than enough for you to uh, to, to get the job done. OK. So uh, other things like maybe if you have a small data set, then then bubble sort still worth uh, 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 still still something that that you you may choose to 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 uh, to implement okay for your sorting algorithm. Okay, that is for bubble sort, counting sort. As I mentioned just now, sometimes if you're using if you're trying to sort characters, maybe counting sort is not uh, really appropriate. Um, what else can you say about counting sort? Or can I? Or is it that I can use uh, counting sort to sort characters? Uh, 
class. Yeah, can you use Gandhi sort to sort characters? Uh, I think we can because characters are limited by numbers. Let's say from the letters A to Z, so we have 26 of them. So it's mm -hmm. already, so the, 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 the size, size of the array is still, uh, you know, 26. If, if we were to sort letters, for example. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you're talking about letters, then then possibly it's still law, uh, it's still possible. But how about strings, character uh, strings of characters? String of characters. Let's say, for example, you are trying to sort a list of, uh, uh, I don't know, a list of names. Let's say, for example. We think counting sort would be something that you would use. No, no right? Even though you can change uh, your string uh, into numbers, the range would still be crazily big because, you know, characters can be, you know. So, yeah, so, so, so one of the uh, limitations of counting sort is that it's not really a uh, uh, good uh, if you want to use it for for strings uh, of characters, okay, maybe small size, yeah, maybe still possible. But for strings, uh, no, I don't think uh, counting sort would be uh, a good choice. Okay, radix sort. Can you think of anything about radix sort? Do you think it can be used for uh, strings as well? I think not suitable because string is long. String is long. Yeah, like the number, uh, like over here, we have only three digit, right? But if mm -hmm. string, we have many letters. Okay. And then, and then basically, we can change it into uh, numerical values, right, for the string. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, but then, but then I, 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 you know, like, like that's an argument as well. But then, when we change it into numerical values, um, if if we change it into numerical values. The implementation is going to be crazy, lah, because I I know we cannot we cannot add uh, the total of the the uh the the, the uh, value for each of the character because if like, let's say you have two char uh, two different characters, they can have the same value, so yeah, it is still it is still going to be uh not appropriate if you want to use the radix sort. So radix sort uh is something like just like counting sort as well. We need to make uh, you. We it needs to be numerical, okay? Numerical uh, uh data set, okay? How about bucket? Okay, for bucket sort, okay. So like, uh, okay. What are the uh condition that if like, let's say uh, uh 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 what is the condition of the input uh, uh data distribution? that will not be appropriate for bucket sort. Can you think of any uh, 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 condition of the, the distribution of the input data that might not be appropriate for bucket sort? Um, for me, if the, uh, let's say we have uh, numbers from one to hundred, right? But um, most of the numbers, uh, maybe they are between 50 to 60, for example, but they still have numbers between like 20 or 80, but most of them are like 50 to 60. So uh, from there that like, we can see that the uh, one of the bucket maybe takes like there they might be like more, uh, you know, uh, empty buckets that are not being used. Yeah. Mm. And only one bucket that takes like most of the ele uh, elements. Yep. Yep, that's right. So what you're trying to say is that you have like a cluster of elements, clustered elements within the array, right? So therefore, if we have those clustered 
condition like let's say for example like like how your friend said we have like maybe you still have some values scattered around but then most of the value is focusing uh, around 50 to 60 let's say for example the element so you can already imagine that the bucket uh, inside the 60 50 60 bucket you will have a lot of element okay so therefore it's like the running time if you run the insertion the insertion sort so the run, running time complexity will be bounded by that insertion sort being occurred within that uh, uh, bucket right so the running time is going to be uh, almost like uh, order of n squared which is the running time complexity of the insertion sort so therefore uh, if like if you have like an input data that have this cluster uh, characteristic, you need to avoid using bucket sort because you are not going to get uh, the almost linear uh, uh, um, uh, running time complexity. Because the reason why you can get that is because the load factor alpha, the 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 uh, the, the size of the element inside the bucket uh, against the number of uh, uh, array, the number of buckets that that you created. Okay, so it, uh, the uh, uh, the fast uh, uh, random complexity is because of the you know one is the because of the you know uniformly distributed uh, elements throughout the bucket as well as uh, 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 you know like the number of elements within each of the bucket. Okay, you, you cannot like uh, uh, exceed the the load factor alpha or you know like the or the size of the bucket. Uh, 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 if you want to put in limit stuff, okay. All right. So that is for the bucket sort. So last, uh, shell sort. I think there's nothing much that that we can say about <laughs> shell sort. Uh, uh, other than that, uh, for shell sort, uh, the way you divide the gap. Uh, in this case, we divide it by two, okay, uh, as proposed by Shell. Uh, you can also like have the gap uh, divided different way, okay, to get, a, a, I, I believe, it, a better uh, running time complexity uh, than this, okay, because this Shell sort still can run up to uh, order of N squared because of the insertion sort, all right? So uh, you can actually read uh, uh, the variant of uh, uh, shell sort uh, 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 anywhere uh, online so that you can see that, that the running time complexity is always depend on how you uh, create the gap inside this uh, sort, okay? So uh, I would say, uh, uh, as a, uh, uh, I would say that up until now, uh, these are these are just a very small um, how do you call that a small example of sorting that 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 you uh, that that you see. Uh, but uh, I think uh, up until this point, you should be able to if like let's say you encounter a different uh, uh, sorting algorithm uh, when you are reading, you know, like like or when you are trying to find a solution to 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 your problem later on. You can actually uh, 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 consider, okay, uh, how would you choose the best uh, sorting algorithm? Okay, based on the classification, based on you know like considering what type, how how is the distribution of your uh, uh, input elements going to be? Okay, so these are the things that 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 you can uh, you know like try to uh, assess when choosing uh, your sorting algorithm. But uh, what we learn in class is very small set of sorting algorithm because if you see uh, the book this is Nuth book actually this book uh, by by Donald E. Nuth I don't know how to pronounce his name he has a set of books four books only talking about algorithm and all algorithm is this thick and this one is volume three only talking about sorting and searching Okay, so you can imagine um, the thing that we see today is just a small, small set of very like uh, various sorting algorithm uh, that 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 you can find um, um, that is being used today. Okay, 
So, but then uh, at least uh, uh, up until now, at least you know what what are the things that you can consider. You want to uh, that that you need to consider when choosing the right uh, sorting algorithm for your problem. Okay, is that alright? Is that alright? Yes, doctor. Okay, so any question? Ah, we are quite early. <laughs> this morning it's like like quite late. Any question uh, about about sorting a rhythm or any 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 uh, anything that uh, any uh, 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 in regards to the, the to the uh, um, uh, lecture? <laughs> It's going to ring uh, really doctor, bad. Just wondering, yeah. um, yes. for yeah. any other kinds of uh, sorting like quick sort or heap sort, uh, is that going to mm -hmm. be uh, covered in the future lectures? Yeah, yes, uh, we're going to see quick sort in Divide and Conquer. We're going to have heap sort. Uh, I don't remember whether, whether we're going to be having heap sort in uh, 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 I believe we're going to have hip sort. I don't remember, but I uh, uh, I have included hip sort in my lecture before. I'm not sure whether we scrap it uh, this, but I don't think so. I think we'll be covering hip sort as well uh, in one of the uh, uh, topic uh, 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 this semester. Uh, the only thing is that uh, for quick sort, yeah, uh, quick sort is actually an, as I mentioned, it's another another very nice uh, sorting algorithm. If you look into the analysis of why it is actually good, okay, so you will see later on uh, uh, the worst case, the best case analysis, and the uh, uh, average case analysis. When you do the the formal analysis of the the quick sort, you will see that, that it gives you a very nice property. Okay, and heap sort it's using the tree. So so yeah, I think I think it will be covered in the future for the heap, uh, in in this course for 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 heap sort as well. Yeah. Yeah, those are other difference. The, the difference between uh, why I did not include those uh, sort like a heap sort inside this one is because heap sort uses uses a different data structure. It's using the three data data structure. So that's why I don't I don't include it in this topic. This is the the most basic. Uh, 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 it's not basic, but but I think most of this the topic most of the sorting algorithm that we see today is like the running time complexity is already moving towards uh, linear. And I think mostly it's not comparison based. Uh, so we also see the non-comparison based, which is something that, that uh, 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 you know, like, like perhaps you are not aware of uh, 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 before. Because normally when you do sorting, we always like thinking about, oh, in order for us to sort, we need to compare. You know, like we need to compare between between uh, each of the element. But now uh, I believe that that you can see that it doesn't have to be a comparison based uh, uh, sorting that that you can uh, uh, do. Okay. All right. Is that okay? Anything else, Muni? Is okay? Yeah. Anything else? Any more questions? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Anything else? It's going to rain very heavily, so that's why I'm looking. I have a window in front of me, so it looks like it's going to rain pretty heavily. So, any more questions? If we do not have anything else, then maybe we can end our class for today. Uh, so, um, again, for, for the lab viva, I'll be posting the slot. Uh, and uh, for my group, I will be doing it uh, in week five. So week four, as I mentioned, if you uh, if you think that uh, 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 you know, like if you want to have that that you know, like a discuss it, discussion uh, session during lecture next week, then just let me know. I think we'll just do it. You know, like just meet for a while. Uh, uh, maybe I can uh, use that session to answer some question, uh, any question from you in regards to the. Uh, let viva or in regards to the topic itself, the string matching topic. Um, yeah, so maybe I will make an announcement. I will just make it like we will have some quick, not not an official lecture, but a lecture that that that, that we just like meet uh, in case that you, if you have anything to ask. 
Okay. Is that alright? So if there's nothing else, can we end the class uh, for today? Yeah? Yes or no? <laughs> Why are you, are you all okay? So. Alright. So. Okay. So yeah. So uh, I guess I will see you then. Uh, let me start the recording first. And um, okay. All right. Uh, thank you, everyone. Bye. Assalamualaikum. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor.